Inquisitor. Yay. Yes. Tell me about Anders. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. I'm glad we agree that he's weird and strange and horrible. Why are you alone? Yeah, what happened to Meryl? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? Well, Varric's with us. I had my friend Adeline take him as far from Orlais as possible. When all the wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Mm -hmm. Meryl is helping elven refugees who were displaced by the I didn't want to take her away from that. Aww. Meryl's spent enough time fighting for her life with me. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Uh, what has Varric told you? I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. <laughs> what did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always liked Varric. Uh, and for those who don't remember from Dragon Age 2, of course, Blondie is Anders. And where have you been? Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. And you fought Corypheus? You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. He and sent I the car after you. I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Hmm. Maybe his tie to the blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Larius! Sorry. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Right, so we're heading there at some point. More things to do. Find Varric. No, bad. Finding Varric. We are finding Varric. That is the, that is our goal. Um, which I assume is going to be... Oh my goodness. How many quests have I got? We're going to have to stop... We're definitely going to have to stop working through these. Uh, in a circle. Guilty pleasures. Talk to Varric. Set as active. And he lives... Where does he live? He lives maybe kind of this middle bit. Oh my god, I don't even know where Varric lives. Need to find him. I'm guessing these aren't where people have been. Where I've seen them? That makes no sense. Hmm? I need to find Varric though. I must encourage him to write more. Could bring in some income to the Inquisition. And, and well, the Inquisition isn't paying him, so he's gonna have to. Ooh, this goes further down. Ooh. Back down here. Surgeon. First read that Sturgeon before. Probably not accurate. What with it not being Sturgeon? Hmm, must find Mr. Varric. I can't jump over this mess. I'm terrified of this game crashing, considering it's already done it once once today. Hmm. This is my goal now. This is my goal. This is my goal for the rest of the session, is find Varric. But I can't find him. Hmm. Ah, uh, right. No, that's Sarah on the map, isn't it? Vivienne and Blackwall. Hmm, maybe he's not around because I'm doing these bits and pieces. Unless... I can see him around? 
he wasn't up there with Hawk. He'd gone when we were talking. <gasps> Aha! There you are. Need something? Special. Um. No, no, no! I said I wouldn't. I have questions about Hawk. No. I have a personal question. I assume this is not going to lead me into the book. Can I ask you something, Barry? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Uh, no, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Barry. No problem. Okay. Right, Need we're going to have to... Cassandra wants a book. But don't tell her I told you this. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. You sound surprised. <laughs> I didn't say... I didn't, No, I did say that. She's a big fan. You sound surprised. What's so surprising about that? You have met Cassandra, haven't you? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Huh. She'll be waiting for a while, then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Uh, yeah, I, I need it. <laughs> like, that, that was my thought. I need it as a gift, Ref. I was hoping to give it to Cassandra as a gift. Oh, come on. That's just cruel. Even the Seeker doesn't deserve it. <laughs> so, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition. I get to be there when you give her the book. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea. Then you'd better find something else to give the seeker. Oh, curse you! Curse you! Need All right something. then. Wants a book. Sandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. Oh, he's just looping back all the way through. I'll only finish the book for you if I get to be there when you deliver it. <sighs> Fine. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Give her the latest chapter. Oh. Barak, you're mean. Like, I assume it would be one of those things where I give it to her and he just happens to stumble past kind of thing. I hope that's the case. Otherwise, it's quite obvious that we've kind of set her up. I'm sorry the game made me do this. Thank you, Cutting. You knew where Hawk was all along. Damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Uh, let's intervene, shall we? Hey, enough! You're taking, you're taking his side? I said enough! <sighs> we needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but he had vanished. Then we looked for Hawk, but he was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. <sighs> right, Varric's not at fault. And what's done is done, okay? He thought you were, like, cause this is where it's like, we know about the Exalted March. He was worried about the Exalted March was going to kill Kirkwall. Yeah, we're going to destroy Kirkwall. Right, what's done is done. Varric's not at fault. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept... What? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he... That he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. I'll agree on that last Even one. after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Beric. It will never be the Inquisition's. That's unfair, Cassandra. Not exactly! 
I'm well aware. It's like, I don't want to just... Anta the thing is, I don't want to antagonise either of them. Just to kind of worry. We need to work together. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ah, exactly. And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ah, I understand. Maybe I shouldn't he give it. He did bring Hawk. Late, perhaps. But Hawk is with us. As are you. Two protagonists for the price of one. Hooray! You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I'd just explained what was at stake, if I'd just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. What if it had been different? What if you hadn't believed him? And you tracked Hawk down. Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. He supported the Mage Rebellion, after all. He wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. No, don't blame yourself. <laughs> We're all fools. Don't blame yourself. You're too hard on yourself, Cassandra. Not hard enough, I think. You can't believe that. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. I don't know how it will end. But I would have it no other way. Aww. Right, now to ruin that incredibly nice moment by giving her this book while Varric is watching. I'm so sorry, Cassandra! I'm so, so sorry! I'm gonna quick save. Because then the autosave won't override it. Planning troop movements now. Oh, what? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. There's no plan, you won't guess. We make things better. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. <laughs> you know, I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. You're too idealistic. I don't want the same things. Those are admirable goals. Hence the applause. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. There's a story Tell there. Me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. It's called acting! I do what must be done. Ugh, I obey my conscience. You guide me. I don't think so. You admire me? I make it up as I go. Not exactly. I obey my conscience. I'm guided by what my conscience tells me. Mm, that's still not exactly right. Your conscience must speak more clearly than mine. I doubt it, but I do my best. When we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. Thanks. But I am. The Maker chose well. I hope we're friends. I don't deserve that. 
thank you. I appreciate that. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I am glad you are here. I just want to give you this book! <laughs> it's taking forever to try and give you this book. Right. But I've run out of all the cutscenes with you, haven't I? Book. Here is a book. Oh, Varric, you're making this super obvious. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's Aveline! This is your doing. Sorry. None of it. Stop pretending. I hope you'd like it. I hoped you'd like it. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. <laughs> well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <laughs> <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't hard, now was it? Uh, you could thank Varric. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Varric. <sighs> Completely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we shall leave Cassandra to her book. And having bothered her enough, I think, <laughs> bothered everyone else. Actually, we've not really done anything with anyone else. Ooh, we've had a variety of cutscenes with people. <gasps> Next session's going to be super fun talking to a load of people. Ooh, really excited. Maybe we'll have a bit more di well, well, we'll probably also have um, some dialogue with Cassandra as well. But that will be next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching.